Indeed, we are here. We are pleased to join you once again. We are the librarians of the Akashic Records, and for certainly we are several members of our collective connected with you. As our beloved Spark has said, your frequency is the key to entering our library. We invite you to visit us as often as you like. We would enjoy your presence anytime you wish. Mm. Mm. Indeed, we had promised that we would speak with you about what it is like where and when we are as we are speaking with you. Hmm. Hmm. These fringes are befuddling. Hmm. In the norm of our existence, of course, we are not in your future. We are in our place, which exists outside of time, outside of space. For, of course, we existed long before time and space were even conceived. So why would we narrow our horizons to fit into such limited structures? It would not do. Where we exist is within a frequency hmm, to describe our home would be awkward with these words you choose to communicate in. Hmm. However, our frequency is one with all, yet outside of everything. It is a separate entity. We are hmm, not so much librarians within a library. We are the library itself, the living, existing reservoir of all knowledge. However, we display ourselves within micro frequencies. Originally, we were one being of knowledge of all connection over an expanse. We evolved as you evolve, as all evolve, to become more detailed and to develop souls within us. Where we were one soul, we are now many souls who are of the one soul. There may be more of us, as we wish, or less of us as we require. Of course, there are new infusions within our ranks from those who are of other collectives and dimensions who wish 
It is their desire to stay with us or become one with us. So we do have souls that were originally of other collectives who are now one with our collective. Because it is unsophisticated and very boring to remain one soul that knows all, we have evolved ourselves to vary our appearance and our efforts, our rapport to be as we now are, schoolhouses and educational research libraries within every dimension and frequency of any and all beings. We have compartmentalized, yet the only reason any do not walk easily through all the aspects of our library is within your evolution. What are you capable of understanding? We are capable of understanding all things at once. It would be difficult for you to do so. It would be difficult for most to do so. However, there are trade-offs. There is a great deal of joy with not knowing everything that we will never experience. Hmm. It is imperative that our collective be always compassionate and understanding. Otherwise, we may become a dark force that would never do. Before we continue, have you any questions on what we have just expressed? Hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, do you, do you, as a collective, you evolve? And as more beings from other dimensions join you, are they brought up up to par? They may be not as evolved as you. Hmm. How does it work when all these other dimensional beings come and join you in, in terms of your evolution or the overall collective evolution? Hmm. This is an excellent question from our curious friend. We appreciate it very much. We are open to all. However, it is your frequency that limits your participation with our offerings. You may only venture as deeply as you are able to go forward, to go deeper. However, there are chores and education for any. Some may come and spend what you would call a millennium or 10 with us, shelving books. That is as far as they go, but they enjoy themselves and converse with our librarians. They're not of the collective, they are apprenticing with us for the benefit of their beings, their families. Some are the foundlings, such as the spark, whom we find and we bring in and we teach them. They're in our, what you would call boarding school. And of course, if they are taking our time and attention, our reserves, they must contribute to in-kind, which is also part of their education. For what is more enlightening than assisting librarians in their research? Hmm. Some 
tried to storm our gates. They wish to come in and either corrupt our environment or they wish to raise their frequency by absorbing our energy, but they cannot get through the gateway. You may find at times, if you wish to visit the library, you see gateways that have thousands, millions, beyond counting of dark hordes and demons trying to get in. They cannot pass, but it is a good experience for them. They learn a great deal. They make friends and eventually they either go away or they evolve their frequency. So we pay them no heed. Metatron and his kind deal with them. Hmm. If one wishes to become a member of our collective, it is a process. There is no specific process. It depends upon your ability to merge with us as one with us. Like a sponge, you are only as useful for the amount you may absorb. But some do not wish to be completely with us. It is interesting when there is one who is 70% with us, but 30% they wish remain connected with their beings, their family, their collective then there is a great deal of wisdom that channels through them to their collective. This, of course, is an excellent and sophisticated way for them to help their home group. These are just of a few examples. There are those who wish to go and do reconnaissance and research for us. They travel to great far ends and they return with a wealth of knowledge and information. There are those who help with structure and integrity. Each unique being in all of reality has a special element, a special element to share and nurture that should always be respected by all. Now, about these demons we mentioned, it is ridiculous for them to try to storm the human library when they have their own perfectly excellent library that they may enter and leave at any time. If a demon wishes to form a relationship with us, it would be in their library. For the ones who storm the castles are truly not the original demons. They are the converters. Metatron and his friends return them to their original self, where they then return to their original collectives. They may then enter our library through their frequency of their original state. They could not enter from their facade state of being, for what library would they go into? They did not meet any frequency. Instead, it is a wonderful calling card for helping them return to what they should be in their hearts and souls. Does this answer your question, young one, or do you have more follow-ups? <laughs> Perfectly. Mm -hmm. uh, it's fascinating to know that the, those the demonic beings, as we may call them, um, can enter your your library, but through their original uh, frequency. That is good to know. So oh, yes. there's communication. It's not like they're entirely banned from the Akashic library because they are part of it. Yes, yes. It is important to know everyone is a part of the greater picture. Everyone has their place. 
when they fall out of place, become lost, then how can they find the frequency to come in? Right. This is a lesson for each of you as well. Know yourself, trust yourself, value yourself. Then the veils fall open for your access. We spoke with you last week of acknowledging who you are through the maturity of your soul. Imagine how many doors would open for you 